Thank you so much for meeting me at the door. It is really coming down out there. You're supposed to be resting though, so let's make sure you're all settled in for the night. Um, looks like we are doing just a really basic exam tonight. You can relax in bed while I run through everything, and then when we're done, I'll let myself out and you can just drift out to sleep, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go get all my stuff together, gonna get my gloves on. Uh, why don't you make sure that you've done all your pre-bedtime stuff? I don't know if you need to go to the restroom, set your phone to do not disturb, anything like that. And then um, once we're both ready, we'll get started. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that's once again redefining the world of below-the-waist beautification. In this little corner of the internet, we all know that all bodies are good bodies, and that whatever makes you feel hot is hot. And if what makes you or your partner feel hot is an impeccably groomed, soothed, and scented undercarriage, then I have the perfect gift for you. Manscaped is here to prove that when it comes to top-notch quality and unmatched value, they're still leading the charge. With their new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, featuring the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Trimmer. The all-new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra sets a new standard for grooming precision with its upgraded dual skin-safe blade heads. The improved ceramic trimmer blade features elongated, wider, and rounded teeth, that specialize in precision trimming, and the foil blade introduces an extra layer of lavish smoothness. Manscaped has made fumbling around with hard-to-see areas a thing of the past. With an enhanced LED light that includes a novel dual-temperature feature that's designed to better illuminate a variety of skin tones. Plus, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra retains all the cherished features of the Lawnmower 4.0. The rechargeable lithium-ion battery, RPM technology, a travel lock, and USB-C charging. And it remains waterproof for hassle-free wet and dry grooming. Also included in the collection is the new Weed Whacker 2.0, nose and ear hair trimmer. The Weed Whacker 2.0 uses a powerful 7,000 RPM motor with an improved steel blade system and upgraded cutting performance. It's cordless, rechargeable, and has a battery with up to 45 minutes of runtime. The performance package also comes with the Crop Soother Aftershave and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Is being soothed and freshly scented your aesthetic preference? The Crop Soother is enriched with colloidal oats, shea butter, and cocoa seed butter, providing soothing relief for ultimate comfort. And the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant keeps you fresh and hydrated for all-day comfort. Plus, when you purchase the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, you'll receive two free gifts, Manscaped's Boxers 2.0 and their Shed 2.0 Toiletry Bag. So, Head over to manscaped.com and treat yourself or your special someone to the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. The holidays are all about giving and togetherness. Celebrate by shaving for your partner. Celebrate by shaving with your partner. When you use my promo code JELLYBEAN, you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts. That's 20% off and free shipping with promo code JELLYBEAN at manscaped.com. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring. All settled in? Great. You look super cozy. Just a moment while I get my gloves on. With the basics. I'm gonna get a temperature read on you. You know I like to do both ears just to keep things even. Um, is it alright if I go ahead and place this in your ear? Okay, so let's go ahead and start on this side. Okay, beautiful. Other side. Beautiful. All right. Your ears are temperature twins. 
Wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take your pulse. Can I have your wrist, please? Thank you. Okay, I can place my fingers right here. If you can just give me a moment. Okay, good. You can have your hand back. Other side, please. Thank you. All right. Once again, I'm just gonna... Beautiful, nice and even. Here's your hand. Right. You need to go ahead and get your blood pressure. I'm gonna start on this side again. All right, I imagine you have probably experienced this before, but we've got our sphygmomanometer here. I'm going to be using this to check your blood pressure. I'm going to wrap this cuff around your upper arm, and then I will inflate it with air. It's going to get pretty snug, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable. And I'm just going to take a listen with my stethoscope. I have a little listen what your blood vessels have to tell me here. And then I'll deflate it and we'll move on to the other side, okay? So, let's go ahead and wrap it around here. Okay, how's that feel? Not too tight? Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start inflating. Same thing, other side. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it around your arm, nice and snug. Okay, and Move that for you. All right. Let me get both those down real quick. Over. Beautiful. Okay. Let me grab my stethoscope here. Is it okay if I go ahead and loosen up your top just so I can get your upper chest area? Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna... A little bit here. Perfect. Okay, let me warm this up for you. It's a little cold. That should be better. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on your chest. There. Could you please take a nice deep breath for me in and out? Good. We're going to do the same thing, a couple other spots on your chest right here. Go ahead, nice deep breath for me in.
perfect. Over here, one more time, nice deep breath in. Out. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on your back. I'm gonna sneak around behind you, you shouldn't have to move too much. I'm gonna loosen up your top and the back a little bit so I can check a few spots back there. You stay right there. All right. You can stay relaxed right there. Just gonna go ahead and loosen up your top here a little bit. Okay, how's that? Is that all right? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and place the stethoscope. Go ahead and place it on your back right here. Nice deep breath in for me. Deep breath in. Out. Very good. Okay. One more spot over here. Nice deep breath, please. In. Out. Good. All right, you can go ahead and breathe at your own pace now. to take a few notes. Okay, so we have front. Gonna do a little check of your nose and your mouth. Not too invasive, don't worry. Just gonna be shining the light. It's okay if I place my hand on your chin and just tilt your head up a little bit. Okay, put my hand right here. Gonna tilt you up. Perfect, just right there. You can just relax, you don't have to do anything special. I'm just gonna take a little look your nose. On this side, looks good. On this side, okay, good. Could you go ahead and open your mouth for me, just nice and big, give me like a big yawn. Nice big yawn. Good. Okay, you can relax for a moment if you'd like. Could you go ahead and open your mouth out nice and wide. Stick your tongue out. Give me a big ah. Uh. Good. Just like that. I'm just going to take a look. Nice and close. All right. Beautiful. Let me take a few notes. Notes. Right now. Now it's time for a little lymphatic check. So I'm going to be taking my fingers, I'm going to be gently palpating your throat just along your jawline here and here. And then I'm actually going to reach around back and check the lymph nodes at the base of your skull as well, okay? Your occipital ones. Ready? Okay, I'm going to place my hand right here and right here. No, I think that's, that's fine. Okay. 
That's not too much pressure, is it? Just trying to be a little firm to make sure. Give a real good feel. Occipital notes. I'm gonna reach my hands around the back of your head. I'm just gonna right here, the base of your skull. Okay. Noticing a little firmness, but I think that's just neck tension. Can you do me a big favor and just give yourself a little neck stretch? Just look to one side and then the other. Yep, yeah, good. Look up. Look down. Okay, and I'm going to reach behind. I'm actually going to massage the muscles a little bit just to make sure they're relaxed. Okay, there we go. Alright, checking those lymph nodes again. They're fine. Okay. Beautiful. A few quick notes again. After first. To verify. Okay. Just a moment. Here's the eye exam. Can you go ahead and just align your face with mine? Make sure you're looking me straight on. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this light. You don't need to do anything yet. Try to look straight ahead. I just want to get an initial look in your eyes on both sides. Okay. Just seeing if anything jumps out at me to start. Everything's looking pretty good. Okay. Now, can you go ahead and look at the light, please? I'd like you to follow it. Good. Beautiful. Okay. You can do that again. Just gonna be here the right. Beautiful. Okay. Can you look straight at me, please? Okay. Try to look straight at me. Don't look at the light if you can help it. Blink if you need to. But as best you can, try to keep your eyes open. So you're looking straight ahead. I'm just going to bring this in real close. Good. Beautiful. Good. Do it again. Just so I can check the other side. Good. Okay. Go ahead and blink if you need to. Alright. And this time. Go ahead and look at the pen. Yeah, look at the pen light. Keep your eyes fixed on it. I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay. Now it's going to come quite close to your face and then back out. Try to follow it with your eyes. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Same thing. Keep your eye on the pen. Beautiful. A plus, you're doing a great job. For this next part, 
I'm going to be asking you to choose a spot in the distance to stare into. I'm going to get a little closer and just shine this sort of obliquely into your eyes. Can you just pick a point over my shoulder here? Doesn't matter which one. Just as long as it's kind of back there in the distance and keep looking back there. Beautiful. Keep looking back there. Good. Okay, blink a few times if you need to. And then pick a spot back here. Any spot you want. Keys to fix. Stop. There. Good. Alright. Blink a few times if you need to. I've got one more little eye exercise for you coming up. This time, I'm going to ask you to look straight, straight ahead at my nose right here. Okay, so keep your gaze fixed on my nose. Can you bring the light up. Good. Keep your eyes fixed on my nose. Very good. Okay. I know my hand's passing in front of it, but do your best to just keep your gaze aimed there. And beautiful. That's all I need. Let me just take a few notes. And I'm going to grab my other scoop. Okay. Now. Gonna do some tests for your ears. I'm gonna go ahead and get my otoscope out. I'll be using that in a minute. But first, I'm gonna do a little hearing test, okay? So I'm going to place my hands on either side of your head and I'm going to be making these soft little noises just by rubbing my fingers together. To begin with, I'd like you to indicate if you hear it on the left or on the right, okay? So, you close your eyes or keep them open, it's up to you. Now, can you go ahead and tell me which side do you hear this on? Good. And what side do you hear this on? Beautiful. What side do you hear this on? Mm-hmm. Okay. What side do you hear this on? Beautiful. And how about now? Which side? Left, right, or both? Good. All right. Now, I'm going to take my otoscope here, and I'm going to gently insert it into each of your ear canals. Just take a little look around, okay? So, starting over here. Alright, so you're going to feel the tip of the otoscope entering your ear canal right here. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna take. Good, look around at the ear canal itself. Just, just checking for any lumps. Lumps, lumps, any signs of ear infection, anything we might want to be concerned.
Same thing, other side. All right. I'm gonna get in real close. And you'll feel the tip of the otoskull entering your ear. Thank you. Let me put this away here. And if you could know. Right. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna do one more check of something and then I'm gonna let you get back to sleep, okay? Alright, thank you so much for your patience. I'm gonna be doing a spinal check. So I'm gonna move behind you again and I'm just gently gonna be using my fingertips to check the shape and alignment of each of your vertebrae, starting at the base of your skull, going all the way down to your lower back, okay? I'm gonna let you know which one I'm at as I move down, um, I don't think you're going to have to move too much. I obviously have to reach your back, but I can kind of move you over and prop you up a little bit. So you just stay relaxed and let's go ahead get behind you here. All right, so quick anatomy lesson. Your spine, as you probably know, extends down the center of your back from the base of your skull, right here, all the way down through your lower back and terminates at your coccyx or your tailbone. I'm not going to be examining your coccyx or your sacrum today. Your sacrum is a set of five fused vertebrae just above the coccyx, so it's also deep down there in the butt area. Um, so you don't have to worry about me getting too personal with you here. But I am going to be manually and visually inspecting all the vertebrae of your spine above that point. I'll start at the very top here with your cervical vertebrae and then I'll move down through your thoracic vertebrae. Those are the ones which run through your upper and middle back. 
and then your thoracic vertebrae, which are the lower back ones. I'll be sort of moving your clothing aside as I go, so I can both get a little bit of a visual on your spine, and I'll be using my fingertips and my thumbs to gently palpate each one as I go down. Nothing too firm or intense, just getting a sense of the alignment, the integrity. Most people have a little curve, a little irregularity to their spine. We're just looking for anything that's significantly different than what we've seen with your spine in your known medical history, okay? Okay. So you're gonna feel my thumbs right here at the base of your skull. We've got two specialized vertebrae at the top here. Got your atlas and your axis. C1 and C2. And those assist with the movement of your head. So just gonna gently touch, touch. There are just five more cervical vertebrae, so I'm going to feel me making my way down the back of your neck here. Three, four, and five. vertebrae now, so you're starting here in your upper back. And I'm gonna go one through twelve with your thoracic vertebrae, winding up at the lower end of your middle back, okay? So here T one. wrap up here with your lumbar vertebrae, L1 through L5, just five of them down here. So I'm going to be getting it on your lower back. I don't want to make you jump. Okay, so you're going to feel my fingertips right here. I'm going to make my way down these last five vertebrae here. Feel okay? Any tenderness or anything like that?
I'm really happy with how you're doing. You're doing a great job taking care of yourself. I think your doctor is going to be really pleased as well. So I've got all my notes here and I think you're all set. You can go ahead and just let yourself sink into bed, relax, get some well-deserved sleep. I'm going to go ahead and left, leave myself out. Um, I hope you have some great sleep tonight, and I'll be back to check in on you tomorrow night, okay? Great. Okay. Good night, and you take care.